What's up guys, it's Bucky. Welcome to your fifth Java tutorial. And in this tutorial, I'm going to be talking to you guys about something called a variable. Now what a variable in Java is, is pretty much like a placeholder for something else. Now if you remember from math class back in like uh, seventh grade or whatever, whenever you had a variable and it was usually named something like x, you could have it set to a value like 73 and then whenever you used x in a program or a calculation or something x would take the value of 73 and that's pretty much the same exact thing a variable does in java you assign something called a variable name to a value then whenever you use the variable um, people know that it's not really the variable but it actually stands for that value so let's go ahead and make one of these in java now to make one of these in Java, the first thing that you need to do is tell Java what kind of variable you're going to be working with. And there's a bunch of different kinds of variables you can work with in Java. You can use integers like 3, you can use um, integers with decimal points like 3.14, you can use um, letters like S, you can use uh, strings of characters like um, Bucky, and so once you have that um, decided you need to have a way to tell Java what kind of variable you're working with so it doesn't get confused so what we're going to be working with today is something called a double now what a double is is it's a sp is, oh, blah, blah, blah. it's a keyword that tells Java alright you're going to be working with a number but this number can have a decimal point as well so um, after you tell Java what kind of variable you want to work with, you got to give it a name. So let's go ahead and say we're going to be working with a variable called double and we're going to name it tuna. Now after you have a variable called tuna, you need to give it a value. So go ahead and write tuna, which is the variable name, and then go ahead and press equals. Now what equals is here is something called the assignment operator and what it does is assign a value to tuna so what value are we going to assign to it let's go ahead and uh, write 5.28 uh, my favorite number 5.28 so here's what we did so far we told java that we're going to be working with a variable called tuna and then it's going to be a double meaning that it has um, uh, numbers on both the left and right hand side of the decimal point Again, an integer is only a whole number like 8, 10, negative 4. And a double has a fraction like 5.28, 8.18. So again, we told that tuna is a double. It has a fraction. Next, we said, all right, what's the value of tuna? Well, here's the name. Here's the assignment operator. And here's the value. Tuna equals 5.28. Now we have a variable that has the value of 5.28 that we can throw into any Java program. So let's go ahead and do that. And how we do that is just like we did before, just print it out on the screen. So let's go ahead and write system, let me type it right, system.out.print. And in your parameters, instead of typing um, a string of text like this is a string, all we have to do is type the word or the name of the variable such as tuna and that would print tuna out on the screen don't believe me let me show you guys let's go ahead and run this and as you can see down in our little run box it has the um, variable 5.28 so that is how you write variables out on the screen using Java and another cool thing that you can do with these variables is in the last tutorial I showed you guys how to write strings of text on the screen you can also um, combine these variables with strings of text so let's say we want to write um, system dot out dot print line and get out of here hoss and in our print line we're gonna say um, I want then go ahead and press space actually this brings me to another point which I will say right now there's two different things system out and print and system out and print line so let me show you guys what those do right now system dot out dot print line and let's go ahead so what's this saying right now I want 
Um, uh, what do you want? 5.28 uh, movies. I want 5.28 movies. Makes no sense, but just deal with it. Now let me show you guys what this does, and I'll show you guys why it does it. Let's go ahead and run this, and it says, okay. We printed three things, but it only is on one line. I want 5.28 movies. And let me show you guys why this is. There's two different print statements that you guys learned so far. A system out print, which you see in the first two lines, and a system out print line, which you see in the next line. What a print statement does, a basic print with no line, is it says, all right, Java, we want to print this, but we want to stay on the same line. And it says, all right, so just stay on the same line, stay on the same line, and then after this, move to the next line. So after you have print line, what it would do is move the cursor to the next line. So if you printed anything after this, it would show up on the next line. Don't believe me? Let me show you guys. System out print and we can even have a basic print statement right here and let's have apples let me go ahead and run this and as you can see this one moved to the new line so that's the difference between the print statement and the print line statement anytime you use a print statement it stays on the same line that you're printing on such as here so this whole thing's on the entire line. As soon as you have a print line statement, what it does is when it gets to the end of printing it, it moves to a new line. So that's the difference between a print statement and a print line statement. And again, that's your quick tutorial on how to use variables. Um, again, this is called declaring a variable. This is called assigning a variable of value. Again, this is the name of the variable, and this is the value. This is the assignment operator right here. And anytime you want to use a variable to print out on your screen, just write system out print and then write the name of the variable right there and it'll print out on your screen. So again, that's your quick tutorial on variables and how to use variables in Java. So uh, thank you guys for watching. Make sure to subscribe to my channel. Uh, don't forget to check out my next tutorial. And again, thank you and I'll see you next time.